Ride Carnival Tycoon is an absolutely awful tycoon game, starting with the title. What's the actual name of this game? Is Carnival Tycoon a subheading? Is this game just called Ride Exclamation Mark? Why not just call it Carnival Tycoon and be done with it? Would Roller Coaster Tycoon be improved by calling it Ride Exclamation Mark Fun Roller Coaster Exclamation Mark Roller Coaster Tycoon? And it doesn't get any better at the main screen. It refuses to let me record anything above two frames per second. Almost like the game was trying to hide its shame like a 1960s cover girl holding a skirt down over a floor vent. It looks like the kind of back alley carnival where you get your wallet stolen. I mean, a higher frame rate wouldn't make much of a difference because the menu screen doesn't have any animation. I mean, just compare these two. What looks more enticing? The unsightly icons above the heads of the carnival goers verifies that it's just a JPEG screenshot of the game. They took it during the game's night cycle so the character models are impossible to make out. They're even clipping into each other. Couldn't they have chosen any nicer screenshot? There's free game modes, sandbox to play with unlimited money, mission mode to complete specific goals, and career mode which is functionally identical to the mission mode. I can't show you the selection of maps available because it refuses to record, but there's farm plots and parking lot maps basically. No difference in the arrangement, they're all squares and rectangles of varying sizes. Let's get started, but don't check your monitor settings, this is HD quality. This is just how the game looks. The textures pop in and out depending on the camera angle and get increasingly blurry the more you zoom out. I hope you like a short segment of banjo music played on a never ending loop. There are a few equally terrible tracks, but they all sound virtually the same. Short 10 to 20 second banjo music segments looped endlessly. There's a real sense of poverty to this game, and not just because one of the maps takes place in the parking lot of a supermarket complete with a drugstore in the background. I don't know what your experience of carnival rides were, but mine, in the UK, were terrible. They're called fun fairs, and the rides were always overpriced, old, broken down pieces of shit with burnt out lights and poorly drawn images of half naked women. Again, you look at Roller Coaster Tycoon and it's grand and majestic. You look at this and it's like the place your parents take you because they can't afford Disneyland. I went to a lot of carnival slash fun fairs. Remember catching goldfish in tiny plastic bags on those hook games? I didn't realise how cruel they were as a kid. I used to waste so much money on the ring toss games too. I swear they're actually impossible. Why do those freshly made donuts taste so much better than regular donuts you got in the store? Remember when you were a teenager and a group of friends were playing the sack toss game and you were scared you'd miss the bottles when it was your turn? Bonus points if your crush was there watching. Ah, uh, anyway, let's get back to the game. It's got the very basics of a tycoon game. Build rides, build ticket booths, hire staff, maintain your energy, meet your customer needs. But man, is it bare bones. The rides and buildings look absolutely terrible. A jumble of contrasting colours that you can't customise in any way, so your park is bound to look abysmal. Most of the rides are locked off in the mission and career mode, but only require that you be incredibly easy tasks to unlock. There's a decent selection, but they're all meaningless. Customers buy tickets from ticket booths to purchase food or visit your rides. There doesn't seem to be any variance in popularity between the rides, despite the scale of price. You can build carnival games like the Ring Tosk and Basketball Hoops, but they have no animations and nobody works at them. I thought I was doing something wrong for the longest time because nothing was visually happening on the screen. But they were bringing in money, there's just no animation. Customers will just stand against the basketball game that has no basketball, pay and then just walk away. 4 wins jumbo, 7 wins choice, there's nothing to win. I guess Ride Carnival Tycoon beats out Deep Sea Tycoon for the worst animations in the Tycoon game by literally having none. I was surprised to see however that you could actually ride the attractions yourself. Obviously it just switches your camera perspective but it's at least something. I wonder what happens when you put the speed up. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow it down. The ride's rotation is 67, 68 RPM. Get ready to match our speed with the retro thrusters. It's not possible. No, it's necessary. Ah, <sighs> oh, anyway. There's several food and beverage stalls that you can put down. Soft drinks, hot dogs, donuts, that kind of thing. Again, nobody works in the actual shop, they're all completely deserted. It really adds to the immersion of the tycoon game, you know. I could hear this annoying sound above the soundtrack the entire game and couldn't figure out what it was, until eventually I discovered that each game and shop repeats the same slogan endlessly with no break. 
And if you place them together, they all merge into one. Abject levels of disinterest. I already put more effort into talking about this game than the developers did making it. So go to the settings in which you can't customize anything about the visuals or resolution and shut the audio off. Let's talk about the customers and staff. The AI is as dumb as a bag of rocks. The staff, in quotes, do nothing. What am I paying them for? They literally go to sleep on the ground. All they do is repair rides when they break down, nothing else. Why don't you go man the empty shops and carnival games, you lazy bastards? The patrons all look identical, just with varying skin tones and different coloured t-shirts. They clip straight through each other and the buildings and run like they shit their pants. The AI will enter the carnival and walk straight past the ticket booth because it wants to get tickets from the complete opposite end of the map. They can't even sit on benches correctly. Your feet are supposed to touch the ground, mate. So what is there to say about the actual gameplay? Well it's become apparent to me that the thing bad tycoon series developers find most difficult about making these games is micromanagement. None of them can do it. Similar to Deep Sea Tycoon, there's no challenge. You can have a park with unlimited income and total guest satisfaction instantly. Place the ticket booths, place the rides, games and shops, that's it. You have a carnival where guests are never unhappy, income never goes down and no challenges occur whatsoever. But honestly, it's worse than that. I mentioned that all the staff do is repair the rides. Well, guess how often the rides break down and need repairing? Every single damn day. And do they repair them automatically? No. You have to click each individual ride, which is more difficult than it looks. Oh, come on. Click it. I'm clicking it. Come on. Oh, my God. You have to click the ride, click to close it, and then click repair. That's annoying enough. But once they're repaired, do they reopen automatically? No. You have to click it again to open it. Tens of rides that require you click on each individual one multiple times to repair them every single day. And when you're playing on increased speed, it's every couple of minutes. That's not all that needs repairing. All the benches, toilets and bins need repairing every single day too. So you literally have to click on every single item in your park every two minutes, no matter how small, no matter if you have a thousand items all the time. It's so bad, it makes it completely unplayable. Who thought this was a good idea? This is the most dangerous carnival in the world. Every single ride, shop and miscellaneous item is bound to collapse at any moment and crush you under its weight. This is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Whoever said Action Park was the most dangerous park ever created? And to make it even more annoying, benches, bins and all those little things you need a thousand of in any tycoon game can't even be placed more than one at a time. You have to open up the item screen, click down until you find a bench, place that individual bench and then do it all over again a thousand times. Ride Carnival Tycoon is thus far the worst tycoon game that I've ever played. It's an ugly broken cash grab trying to desperately scavenge money off naive children who love games like Sue Tycoon and Roller Coaster Tycoon. You know what? This game doesn't deserve to be shown to anyone. I apologise. Don't share this video, don't comment, don't like it, lest you get bad luck for the next 7 years. See you guys. Wait, 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 wait. I was done editing the video but there's more here that annoys me that I have to say. All the stalls have the exact same advertisements over them, to the point where ice cream shops are advertising stuff they don't have. You don't sell anything but ice cream. It doesn't matter where you place anything in this game. You can set up benches around toilets, rides scattered around at four separate corners of the map so everyone has to walk a mile between them. When you speed up the game, the animations on the patrons don't increase, so it looks like they're skating around an ice rink. And guess what? You can't save and load your map. In a tycoon management game, you can't save and load your map. You can only save your layout and reload it from the start, meaning you have to reopen the carnival and hire all the staff back. But I really need to emphasize that this has no gameplay. The visuals don't match up to what's happening on the screen at all. For a laugh, I increased the ticket requirement for all the rides to the maximum, 100, expecting this to tank my profit, but it didn't. Everyone already on the ride when I increased the price was forced to pay 100 tickets, even if they didn't have 100 tickets. Putting them in ticket debt and forcing them to get stuck in an endless loop, walking back and forth between the ticket booths, unable to pay because they were broke. 
Everyone stopped going on the rides, but my profit never went down. It got higher. So I'm convinced that everything you see happening on screen is completely irrelevant. If you place a ride and it's operating, then you're gaining money no matter what. Absolutely abysmal. Right, this time I'm actually finished. See you guys. Nine, 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 nine,